Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to review Malice Draconia from the Twisted Wonderland series. His ability description is Dormate Zooms that can be connected with Malice Draconia Zooms appear. Connecting them clears surrounding Zooms. This game demonstration that you're currently watching right now is a skill level 1 game demonstration played with the 5-4 boost on. So let's take a look at his stats. In order for you to activate his ability, you're going to need to clear a total of 19 to 28 copies of Malice Draconia off the screen. The minimum score is 60 with a maximum score of 1285. So from a scoring perspective, it's pretty good, especially if you have him at a higher skill level. This could be assumed that could be pretty good for score, especially if you could get him to skill level 6. And if you want to get Malicious Draconia to skill level 6, You'll need a total of 36 copies of him either in the premium box or you're going to need to use some skill tickets. And taking a look at his skill, his skill does have two components. First of all is how many zooms that's required to activate his ability. And then second is how long his ability is actually going to last during ability time. So the very base at skill level 1, the ability time is going to last 4.5 seconds. And you're going to need a total of 28 zooms cleared off the screen to activate the ability. But every single time you level up the skill, one of those things will change. So either your skill time will increase or the amount of zooms that's required will go down and they're going to alternate. So going from skill level 1 to skill level 2, the amount of zooms that's going to be required to activate the ability is going to go down from 28 to 25. But remains the same going from skill level 2 to skill level 3. But you're going to get one additional second during the ability time. And that's actually pretty important, that additional second. With that additional second, it can help you get another ability activated back to back. So before I go any further, if you guys are enjoying this type of content where I review zooms through monthly leaks, subscribe to this channel. Your subscription really helps me out a lot. I also have a Discord server as well. On the Discord server, we host monthly events, we chat about the game, and if you need additional friends to send you some hearts or some coins, then definitely ask for that in the add friend zone. And if you're unable to scan this QR code on the screen, I will also have links that invite you to my Discord server as well in the description below. I also have a LINE group, but I think the LINE group might be full at the moment, so if you can't get into the LINE group, consider joining the Discord server instead. Alright, back to Malice Draconia. Now, the difference here between skill level 1, 2, and 3 is only two things. Like I mentioned earlier, it's either going to be the amount of assumes that's needed to activate the ability, or the duration of the ability time. And in this case, skill level 1 and skill level 2, both of these skills are going to last 4.5 seconds, whereas skill level 3 is going to last 5.5 seconds. Now, one thing I do want to point out during the ability time is you really want to focus on clearing as many chains as possible versus how long the chains are. Although it's nice to have a really long chain that's going to earn you a lot more coins, but keep in mind that these bubbles that you clear or these chains that you're going to make during the ability time is also going to clear surrounding zooms. So although you're not going to make the longest chain possible, it's also going to clear surrounding zooms. And one thing the game doesn't make extremely clear here is that during the ability time, any chains that you make will clear surrounding zooms. So it's not only the ones that are flashing green, which is the malicious draconia and their doormates, but any zooms that you clear during ability time will also clear surrounding zooms. So if you are really struggling with trying to find chains to clear during the ability time, then just find any kind of chain possible because it will clear surrounding zooms as well. And even if you clear a small chain of three or even four, uh, because it's gonna burst surrounding zoom, you might even get a time bubble. So don't worry about necessarily making the longest chain during the ability time. Go for the, uh, the amount of chains versus the longest chain possible. However, you should focus on trying to clear as many Malicious Draconia and their doormates as much as possible because any of Malicious Draconias that you clear during the ability time is going to count towards your next charge up. So because of that, you definitely want to focus on clearing as many Malicious Draconias as much as possible during the ability time. The next thing I want to show you guys is a side-by-side -side comparison of the abilities activated at the same time. This is in full speed, so check out skill level 2 and skill level 3 You'll notice that skill level 1 and 2 will end before skill level 3 by 1 second. That's because we get 1 additional second for skill level 3. Now this animation is really cool. It's Malicious Draconia and the Doormates. And you'll notice that a bunch of zooms will flash green right when the ability starts. 
And one trick here is that during this moment, you should start strategizing on where you want to make your chains. Especially if you look at scale level one, there are three different pockets. So in this case, I did the bottom, left, and then right side. And usually after your third clear, you're still going to have a little bit of time. So try to make a couple more chains if you can. And again, you want to focus on clearing malicious draconias because they will count towards your abilities. And after your ability is ended or the ability time ends, you're likely going to have some bubbles there that's generated on the screen. So before you burst them, I actually recommend you to look at your fever bar and see how closely they, it's about to end. If you notice that your fever is about to run out, then you want to wait a couple of seconds until that fever is completed and then use those bubbles to get yourself back into fever time. Moving on to scalable 4, 5, and 6. And for scalable 5 and 6, you're going to get a total of 6.5 seconds of ability time. And that's actually significantly more than scalable 1 where you only get 4.5 seconds. And that makes a huge difference. You're going to be able to see the difference it makes later on when we do the side-by-side -side comparison. At scalable 4, you're still only going to get 5.5 seconds of ability time but it's only going to require you 22 copies to activate the ability. Now at these higher skill level, the strategy remains the same. It is mainly during the ability time, you want to focus on clearing all of the green highlighted zooms. And actually one more thing I want to call out is that during the ability time, you'll notice that the entire screen or the top portion of the screen and the bottom portion of the screen has these little thorns and vines. That indicates if you are still in ability time or not. Because generally, if you are playing with the sound on, there will be a different either music or background noise. But in this case, you're going to be able to see it as well. So if you're ever wondering if you're in ability time or not, just look at the top of the screen or the bottom of the fever bar and you'll know if you're still in ability time or not. So let's take a look at the abilities activated at the same time. So this is in full speed here and nothing changes. Again, skill level four is going to end before skill level five and six by one second. Now this is slowed down so we can take a look at what's actually happening here. The animation doesn't change between all six of the skill level. The only thing that's different is how long that it actually lasts for. And keep in mind when the, uh, the screen goes into the ability time, it's going to flash green and that's when you wanna prepare for where you wanna make those chains. And because the ability lasts so much longer for skill level 5 and 6, you'll notice that the bar is almost full by the time the ability ends. And actually in this case, I was able to get back to back ability because I was able to clear so many malicious draconias during the ability time. And at these higher skill level, that's really what you want to strive for. As long as you are focusing on clearing malicious draconia during the ability time and bursting those bubbles right after the ability, you should be able to get back to back abilities. Now overall, I really like Malicious Draconia. By my calculation and by my own ranking system, Malicious Draconia is definitely in the top 10. Right now, I have him right at number 6, but I could take that number 5 spot if I practice with him a little bit more. Where I place him essentially is right behind Elegant Rapunzel where I got 7,853 coins, but right above Anakin Skywalker where I got 6,864 coins. I think with Malicious Draconia, Getting into the 7,000 range or 7,500 is definitely possible, especially at the higher skill level and you're playing a lot faster. If you watch this gameplay, I didn't get a lot of back-to-back -back abilities per game, but if you are able to master that and just get a lot of back-to-back -back abilities, getting into the 7,000s is definitely possible. So that's why I would recommend you to get Malicious Draconia if you don't have a good coin earner. But the only thing is that next month is May. So there is a very good chance that Jedi Luke will come back. So if your objective is to get the best zoom in the game, which is Jedi Luke for coin earnings, then you might want to wait until next month. But it's not a guarantee either. So you have this option here to get Malicious Draconia, which is a really good zoom, or wait for Jedi Luke to come back in May. And what I would do actually is wait until the end of the month. At the end of April, I'm going to do another leak video letting you guys know what's coming in May. And if Jedi Luke is not going to be available next month, then you definitely should invest in Malicious Draconia. Now let's take a look at the results for all six of these gameplays. At skill level 1, I ended up with 1,770 coins with 4.3 million points. So that's already pretty good even at skill level 1. A skill level 1 zoom earning 1,770 coins is pretty good. And if you look at skill level 6 there, 
I was able to get 6,888 coins with 17.7 .7 million points. So this zoom is going to be good for coins as well as for points. All of these gameplays were low level malicious draconias, meaning that they weren't at level 50 yet. So if you could get malicious draconia to level 50, your score is definitely going to be a lot higher than mine. Uh, and in terms of coin earnings, I haven't mastered this zoom yet. So getting into the 7,000 or even 7,500 is definitely possible. I'm going to practice with the Malicious Draconia for a little bit more before I cement his score into my ranking system. So it's going to take a little bit more time, but I think that getting to 7,000 or 7,500 is definitely possible. So that's my review of Malicious Draconia. I hope that you guys found this video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you would like to see more Sim Sim content just like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching.